the world renowned world coast a tourism jewel and an important cog in the government's blue economy plan but the resurfacing of the decree and its exclusionist nature are taking the shine off this jewel this department since 1994 were never transformed were never never transformed whites are still getting more privilege than uh, us as the blacks here in our area we are hoping to develop making uh, bnps uh, small hotels all those kind of things as also looking to the side of economic develop uh, ocean economy but because of this uh, department who stopped this access we are so 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 in deep pain so we don't know what to do now Eastern Cape's Environmental Affairs and Tourism MSC Mlungisi Mvogo has learned the use of the invalid decree by officials in his department. I do not believe in this day and age there could be a decree that actually moves our people from that side, uh, from closer to the sea, where they could actually develop and, and benefit and move them away, considering that we, on the other hand we have another program, a program on oceans economy. So it, it, it talks against the program of oceans economy. Legal experts have implored the provincial government to rectify the situation to avoid unnecessary litigation. The issue of removal of our people along the wild coast is unlawful, unconstitutional, and discriminatory. Because the problem with that removal, it concentrates only on black people. Plans to grow the ocean's economy have identified the Ports and Johns as one of the developmental nodes. The aim is to stimulate economic development in this impoverished region. I'm Kululego Nyembezi, SABC News. Paul St. John's.